uh, the egg of great, but he doesn't really need to crack the egg right now. He just, he could just he can just expand everywhere and he'll be fine. Um, he's just got such an advantage. I mean, look at the mini map. Splotches splotches of yellow everywhere. Um, C is just all over the map. He's got groups of mines all over the map. He's got complete map control, and and great is this just this purple corner just locked in the corner. It almost for some reason it just reminded me of like a a Blizzard map, like a Blizzard campaign thing where it shows you the map in the beginning and one of the computer uh, factions has has all this stuff all over the map and you start off in the top left hand corner and you have to build up your bases and move out and kill. Anyway, um, Great is trying to get that top right base up as well. He's got some lurkers up there. He's got a defiler. Um, C is spotting it though. He's, he just comps out of the location so he knows that's going up. It's probably going to be his next place where he's going to attack. He's got some forces up there. He's trying to attack but there are those lurkers in the way. But um, C has just got him completely locked in at the left here. And this is this is kind of an interesting kind of an interesting situation where both players are having to attack and defend on different fronts right now. Well, both players are having to either attack or defend on different fronts. Great is having to defend on different fronts. Um, and so it's making it pretty interesting. Some Scourge going in there. Hydralisk's now out um, to try and face the the mech units, but they run into a group of medic marines, so um, <laughs> medic marines are going to do very well against those against those Hydralisks. He unfortunately engaged the wrong group of units. Um... Wow. Anyway, so things not looking good for great. Things looking not great. <laughs> things looking grim. Uh, if you can get the top right base up, maybe I will have to eat my words, though. I mean, if you can get that top right base up and still keep defending that bottom left base of his, that 9 o'clock base, I mean, if, if C continues to be ineffective, ineffectual about getting into that base, then he could theoretically come back into this game, actually, especially if he starts doing some friggin' harassment. Neither player really harassing much. I'm surprised C isn't doing some vulture harass since he's got the vultures around. You know, plant the mines, put the minefield down, and then harass with them. He hasn't been doing a ton of that. And I'm surprised we haven't seen any harassment from, um, from great, like some crackling attacks, um, drops or something like that. Some lurker drops would be really effective, but again, maybe I guess the reason why is because he hasn't really had the leeway to. He hasn't had the um, the, the 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 breathing room to do anything like that. He he hasn't been able to take a breath and, and get any extra forces out, and now he's going to lose his top right base again. Um, but really, I mean, that's that's really what you need to do to be really. Oh, well, nice little mind drag there, killing a Goliath off. I thought that was going to die first. Um, anyway. Uh, but that's really what you need to do to be super, to be really effective as a programmer. And the best programmers, you see, when they're under attack, they also attack. And there we go. There we go. Drop in the lurker and the defiler behind the base. Nicely done. There you go. That's what I like to see. Okay. That's what you need to do when you're when you're really super under attack. Really, the best way to defend it off is to counterattack in some fashion. You know, it's the it's the it's the only. It's, it's the best way to get the opponent off your back if they're just pressing down on you harder and harder, you know, just pressing down with more and more forces and and not letting up on the pressure. You need to give something back. You need to put some counter pressure on them to to um to get the pressure off your front. Um, it, otherwise, um, <clears throat> there's no way of getting back into it. They just keep putting the pressure on, and so I'm surprised he's not doing more of that. Anyway, he's trying to push out across the middle here. C has got his forces a little bit separated out and um. So they're, they're kind of divided. So um, the Great is actually doing a decent job here of pushing back out and uh, and eliminating forces in small chunks here. Look at this. These gl <laughs> he still still hasn't managed to kill off that three o'clock base. He's been or nine o'clock base. He's been attacking it forever. Um, and now in the meantime, Great pushing up here and killing off these tanks um, that are attacking this upper location. Those hydras are actually going to die without a swarm or something. Um, yeah, they're gonna go down. It needs some. It could send in some zerglings though, pretty easily to kill off those tanks. And see, look, he's he's got his tanks kind of camped around this location, but it doesn't really matter. They're not really doing anything. They can't hit the hatchery in there, so it doesn't matter terribly. Um. Anyway, he's getting a few more. Medic, where are these? Are they, did he make more medic marines? Or are those still the same group of medic marines? Anyway, a lot of turrets around as well, so he we can't really do any kind of muta switch or anything like that. Um. And uh. Okay, he's got a random control tower sitting around. 
Maybe the maybe the star. Oh, I think the starport was probably blocking the the factories, so he had to move it. Anyway, uh, still not mining at that bottom left base. He can clean that up whenever he wants to. Although it looks like he might be doing that right now. Here he comes in trying to break this contain. Mines are in location though. If a mine goes off on that group, oh, mine kills the defiler. Sw uh, swarm is over those hydras though, but the tanks are gonna do so much splash damage that those hydras are gonna kill him anyways. And it looks like those hydras are attacking. They were attacking a Goliath that was also counting as underneath the swarm, and so just kind of wasting their breath while they get slowly picked off by tank shells. And um, this has been a pretty underwhelming performance by Great today. Um, he did manage to kill Zero off in, in the most ridiculous Zerg versus Zerg of the week. <laughs> That's how that's how often we have ridiculous ZVZs lately. Is that it's the best one of the week, um, but definitely one of the top five uh, ever. I think ZVZs top five craziest at least. So much random stuff. Every unit except uh, guardians there, unless I'm forgetting something. Am I forgetting something? Saw scourge. Saw zerglings. Saw. Anyway, um, great again trying to push out here, uh, but again through a minefield. There's tanks as well, but he's got crackling upgraded though. Oh man, the crackling's melting to the mines, not doing as much damage. If those if those mines hadn't been there, this would be really bad for for C. But he's gonna be able to hold this off very easily with those mines. A lot of turrets going down, but it doesn't really matter. He's not gonna be able to. And finally, he's cracked that three o'clock base. Finally, great stopped. I guess putting swarms on the the choke point there. And uh, all he needed was one swarm on that choke point, and he was holding off C forever and ever and ever. And finally, C has busted into there. We're probably going to see GG any moment now. A ton of tanks moving out here. Wow. There's GG coming from great. C Shield getting his getbacks on. Revenging himself for his loss in the OSL has now come back and defeated great twice. He lost the game to stats, but uh, he's got to feel good that he beat Great twice in a row after going 2-1 to Great in the OSL. And uh, and so now uh, C is going to go on to the MSL. He's going to be advancing into the round of 16 of the MSL. And who knows, maybe this will be the time that C actually does well in the individual league. Like everyone says every other time that he gets into the round of 16. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not swearing anything off. Um... If uh, Up Magic and Huashin can be match fixers, then maybe C can actually do well. Anything can happen.